Okay, coming up in my tour room, first thing we have are my shoe collection. Those are Air Revolutions and the Air Tech Challenges, what Andre Agassi used to wear. Those are the Air Jordan 1s and the 2s and the black 3s, white 3s. Then the 4s, I got several different kinds, the Fires, the Cements, the Oreos, the couple others. The 5s are over there as well. And if you look down here, I got the 15s, the 14s, the 13s, the 12s, the 11s aren't down there because they're up top, and then the 9s right there, 8s, and the 7s, and then the 6s, and then these are the Oreos and the Blacks, my favorite with the Nike Air on the back, those are the 5s, my favorite 5s, more boxes, those are the 11s, my favorite, and also the best-selling ones, and these are other pairs of Jordans that I have collected over the years. Um, I kind of got tired of them. I didn't like like them as much. So I quit doing that. And those were the LeBrons down there. These are my swatches that I still have. A couple I collected. And only one that I had when I was little was a green jellyfish one. I collected some of these and just because I always liked them. I thought that was a really cool thing in the past. And uh, oh, my skateboards. Uh, the Lucero 2 decks. Actually, actually, my first deck right there on the left. Okay, that's my Led Zeppelin black felt poster of the Reaper. This is my Nintendo area where sometimes I come up and play old Nintendo systems. Muscle men right there from the 80s, if you remember that. Handheld 3DS system. Super Nintendo Classic and a Wii U. Got the controllers are in the back. Accessories and then a lot of the games and Nintendo Classic with the Wii right there. And this is the Amiibos that I have for Metroid and Pit. Uh, that's uh, Link and Mario. And this is a Mario diorama right here. Cool little thing to have. And that's a Wind Waker Zelda diorama. A little cool thing if you guys ever played that game. Down here we have Illidan from World of Warcraft, a game I played too long and need to quit. And fun little thing I picked up for Mario. I thought that was neat. And this is the original Toys R Us basket with original Nintendo and Zapper Gun and Game Boy in package and Max controller. And here's a lot of games for the original Nintendo that I had in kid like Zelda and Mario and Metroid and all these other games that were fun to play. Up here we have Garbage Pail Kids that had me open the boxes, so they're all still in the packages. X-File action figures up there and Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, there's the E.T. game. It came out of the dump if you guys ever read about the Atari crash. And there's Muscle Men that I saw in packages. And over here you can see that I have the Viewfinders in their packages with the Smurfs Viewfinder. I thought that was pretty neat. Robotics from the 80s, if you guys remember that. They weren't as popular as Transform G.I. Joe, but still fun. And Legos from the early 80s as well. This is the center aisle. Okay, we're moving into the Transformers section. These are uh, this Fortress Maximus and Trypticon from the Titans Return Transformers line. And this is the War for Cybertron Omega Supreme and the Limited Edition 2015 uh, uh, Devastator Edition. Um, I really like the Devastator because he's very shiny. You know, they're dump trucks and stuff. This is the Transformers Masterpiece Collection, Taraka. And that was Blue Streak, Hound, Sideswipe, Sunstreaker, Ratchet, and um, Wheeljack. And these are Iron Diebots. And uh, Gigasaurs, um, Dinobots. I really like these. These guys, they're a little bit more pricey, but they're really detailed and they got colors and everything else. So it's, I really love those guys. This are one of my favorites. These are the original Transformers. So you, you can see you got the Dinobots and Optimus Prime and all kinds of. Uh, the originals, I have most of them originals, but then I throw in a, when they have reissues, I put those in there too. Jetfire back there, and Blaster, and Metroplex, and things of that nature. 
So those are the originals. They survived the test of time. And going on to the Decepticons, because you can't have Autobots without Decepticons. Stripticon and Scorponox and Predaking back there. Um, Bruticus. Then the original line here. And you see Soundwave and... Got a reissue sound wave in the back that they just put out. So that's pretty cool. Those right there, those little guys, those are from the Diaclones before Transformers came to the U.S. Those were Japanese, so very exclusive, very hard to find nowadays. So these are my favorite. That was my fav first Transformer right there, Skywarp, my purple plume. Devastated there in the back. Going back up, War for Cybertron. Uh, Jetfire right there. And then you got Masterpiece of Optimus Prime's trailer. And there's Optimus Prime and Megatron are going to battle, of course. And there's Soundwave with the cassettes, Rumble, Frenzy, Ravage, Laserbeak, Bustle. And there's Sound, or Shockwave and uh, Skywarp. This is the original Fortress Maximus and a third-party... Uh, Predaking, I really like him. He's very detailed and very cool looking. Of course, that sword is almost a foot tall, or over a foot tall itself. So I keep those on the floor. Not much room to put those in there. So these are the unopened ones I have. Well, these are the boxes down here that most of them came in. So I kept the boxes for the more prestigious ones. Uh, Takara box, Gigasaurs, you can see. Um, fans Toys, that was uh, Grimlock. I haven't even opened that one. And then the original Dinobots and boxes, and they're pretty. Those are actually knockoffs, so they're not real. They're very cheap, but they come from China. It's a reissue Megatron hadn't taken out. Reissue uh, Starscream, and they're in the back. Reissue cassettes. As you can tell in the back right there, we got Scourge, and he came from China, so he's a knockoff piece of junk. Um, Soundwave, actually, that's a Japanese version, and behind that, we got the new versions. That is Pers our, that is the uh, Decepticon camera that we have way back in the series, and then it never released in America. Those are Insecticons. Those are limited edition Japanese version of the Insecticons. These are the new Siege. Uh, Rainmakers. They were only in one episode, so they came out at Target, so I had to pick those up. I thought they are cool. Reissue Devastator, and there's Minasaur, all the com Combaticons, or uh, actually, the uh, Decepticons. Aerobots, Springer, Jetfire, Ratchet, Sunstreaker, and then there's some of the boxes for the uh, Masterpiece back there, and Reissue back there. And Blue Streak, my first Autobot that I got. He always fought Skywarp because they were pretty expensive when I was a kid. So, reissue Hot Rod. Then Mirage, he's a knockoff. And then all the mini bots that they re released and Optimus Prime reissue. And here's are some of the boxes that we have. So, I kept that. And Trypticon, he's actually only $60, so it's very cheap. And that is Unicron. Actually, I got the new Unicron coming in. The box for Devastator. Okay, we're moving into G.I. Joe territory and some comics first and books. Some Nintendo books that I collected. Old school Star Wars stuff. So that's interesting. Here's the G.I. Joe diorama that I put up. Most of the stuff I had as a kid, but I've had to buy a lot recently to kind of fill out the collection. I don't have everything, but I tried to collect what I liked as a kid, so. Got the whale back there with a bunch of Joes in there. Shipwreck coming out the front, helping Gung Ho is about to get stabbed. So this is supposed to be water. I apologize. I'm not a good artist, but whatever. So there's a water moccasin and that's a Cobra hydrofoil. And up here you have the Cobra Rattler with Wild E. Weasel piloting it. I hung up some of these because I thought it would give more coolness. Major Blood is actually in the claw. 
And that's a Cobra Trooper and then the thing up there. There's the Rama in the back. That's a Hiss tank. That's the original Hiss tank. That's one I had when I was a kid, so it's pretty darn old. There's Alpine trying to get up into the Cobra Terradrome. The fire bat ready to come out. Crimson Guard Commanders, Tomax and Zamon. And uh, you can see Zorana back there with the Cobra Law guys and Sir Fanthor. And some other Joes, the Ferret with Firefly on there and another version of Zartan in the back. Uh, this is the mass device with Baroness and Destro and Cobra Commander. Well, that was a limited edition. You had to get some of those pieces off of uh, several different action figures. So that was pretty interesting. And you can see that's kind of a tree. Not uh, very good, but picked it up from a hobby store. And Cobra Stinger right there. And a couple other action figures. Another Hiss Tank. Again, that was my favorite toy growing up. For G.I. Joe. You see the dreadnoughts are going in there. I never really liked those as a kid. I always thought they were stupid, but they're part of Cobra, so I gotta keep them in there. So oh, also you saw Zartan there in the background. I always loved him because he changed colors. Cobra Snake, Armadillo, a lot of different G.I. Joe toys in here. If you look up, Nemesis and Force is dropping. Sergeant Slaughter. I always hated Sergeant Slaughter, so I don't mind seeing him die. These are all the ninjas right here. Mostly uh, Storm Shadow versus Snake Eyes, but there are the ninjas in there as well. Big part of G.I. Joe and big part of what I liked. Flint and Lady J back there. Lovers. <laughs> Striker on the uh, Ram motorcycle and Clutch driving Jeep. These are a lot of old Joes back here, too. That's a dock in there with Dusty and the uh, Tomahawk. But if you look down here, there's Scarlet, and uh, she's one of the originals, and that's Zap, and he is very old. And Grunt, back there at the jail, he's very old. And then Duke looking out, and Zap again. I need to get the backpack for him. There's Mutt in Junkyard, and Grunt again. And you can see... Now we got the battle platform over here with several. Oh, the eels are trying to take over. They're coming in. That's a rock and roll on the G.I. Joe Manta. Let's suit over there. That's Ripcord and Wild Bill on the Dragonfly. If you look up, that's the Cobra Raven. And fast pursuit of. I guessed it, Sky Striker. Okay, we're getting into Star Wars and a little bit more G.I. Joe. So these are 12-inch figures. Clone Trooper right there. Mace Windu and Sidious fighting. And Darth Tyrannus. Anakin fighting it out. Boba Fett. Jango Fett. Darth Maul, my favorite character. And Qui-Gon Jinn. There's uh, Darth Vader without his helmet. And Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes up there duking it out. This is my... Oh, there's a couple Star Wars Episode 3 fighters and things that and hang them up. I didn't know if I wanted to or not. These are more comics. G.I. Joe Transformers. Oh, you also see Nintendo Power and Nintendo Fun Club. Those are very interesting. I just got done reading a lot of the comics because that takes me back to my childhood. So, now if you look here on the bottom shelf, you got Darth Maul in the package and some of the newer Star Wars stuff, which I don't really care for as much. And... A lot of Star Wars in package, the re-retro, re-released retro figures. Uh, Star Wars Episode Three action figures and some Seven in there. And there's one. There's a old one, our Return of the Jedi figure. These are GI Joes up here in packages. So Shadow Force, and this is pretty neat right here. This is Storm Shadows. Uh, uh, one of his masters, can't remember if it's the hard or soft master. Another one, uh, two packs of Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. My favorite Cobra and Joes. Destro up there and Snake Eyes. Firefly, Storm Shadow, and more. There's Jinx in the original. That's from 85, I think. 
Visionaries, if anybody remembers that, another Hasbro cartoon, but they didn't make many of those. Too expensive. So, if you look over here, here's the original Millennium Falcon. And uh, Luke and Ben and Vader, it's not in a good condition, but uh, hey, they're playing chess or whatever it is in the space that you play. Let's see some more old vintage stuff. Stormtroopers, um, droids, Boba Fett, etc. And the original Star Wars things in package. That's a new uh, Return of the Jedi thing that Disney put out. So is that. I really like that, so I had to pick that up. It was relatively cheap. And Slave One chasing Episode 2 Ben Kenobi through there. Ewok Village. ATST there in the background. Um, this is Anakin and Ben fighting on Mustafar. It's a limited edition of Darth Maul training. These are episode three action figures. You see Darth Sidious and Vader getting built and Sidious just wiping out everybody. A couple other toys that I haven't really figured out what I want to do with yet. And Amidala's space cruiser with some action figures in there. Pretty neat stuff. And Geonosis. So you see... Clone Troopers are coming to help the Jedi out. Yoda's in there, too, overseeing, and a lot of the Jedi over there. Mace just killed Django. Poor Django. And uh, Anakin's missing an arm. Sorry about that. Episode 1 stuff, and Chip Reader, and some of the Jedi Knights, and Vader versus Qui-Gon Jinn and Ben. Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then the boxes that some of the stuff came in. Okay, we're in the final stages of our tour here, and so these are some of the interesting G.I. Joe things that I have, because G.I. Joe is my favorite one along with Transformers, so there's a limited edition Destro from the movie, I thought it was pretty neat, Snowcat, a Frostbite in there, in package, that's a re-release, uh, Missile Command, very interesting story about that if you look it up, Hydrofoil, battle, tactical battle platform in boxes, complete. Troop carrier right there, and Wolverine. Now, 12 inch Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow in package. Limited edition Hooded Cobra Commander. Flint in package. Now, this is a 2007, I believe, a San Diego Comic Con edition Destro with gold and silver head. Pythona in her package. Alright, we'll take that out. Oops. Water moccasin in package, the shark, wolf in package, complete. Here's my favorite toy ever, the hiss, the complete in package, and then the water moccasin again. And another version of the hiss that was later, I think that was like 2003, another version of hiss from the movie. And then the mini uh, vehicles here, you can see the asp and... All those things. Another hiss in the background and then a snow hiss. I never take those out of package. I just leave them there. So, Cobra Stinger. Surfantor in in package. Zartan, one of my favorite figures. And the Fang and the Ferret. Claw. Night Landing. Snake. I always love the snake. I don't know why. You can see the rest of these all in packages. Keep them always like that. I'll never take them out. G.I. Joe Base in the package. And then the Killer Whale in the package. Of course, the Sky Striker and the Raven. So that is my toy room. And you get to see everything that I have collected. And I'm pretty sure I'm close to being done because I don't need anything else. These brings back the nostalgia of being a kid and that's what i really like about it so i hope you guys enjoyed the toy room